Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Members of OPEC Plus cartel held a meeting over the weekend from which Bloomberg, Reuters, and the Wall Street Journal were barred from attending. OPEC Plus is still laser focused on keeping oil prices high. Oil prices declined approximately 17% in the past six weeks. And so last week, Saudi Arabia told the world to, quote, watch out, and it did not fail to deliver. Over this weekend, OPEC Plus, including Russia, held meetings in Vienna to decide whether further oil cuts were necessary. The timing, of course, is crucial too. Demand will increase as summer starts and people take vacations and start to travel more. So it is safe to say that most likely your road trips are going to be more expensive now as the result of the decision that was just made by OPEC plus member nations. Bloomberg is reporting that Saudi Arabia will make an additional voluntary cut of 1 million barrels of oil a day as part of a deal that was struck by OPEC Plus after hours and hours of intense negotiations. An economist at Goldman commented, OPEC has never cut within three months of a previous cut with stocks as low as they are today. They likely first want to observe the impact of fresh cuts, which just started. The new cuts will start in July. This move comes after OPEC issued a surprise production cut of 1.2 million barrels per day back in April. The main winner from the weekend's talks is the UAE, which gets a boost to its quota for next year. That comes at the expense of African members who were asked to give up part of their unused quota. OPEC Plus is a cartel and collectively it decides how much oil each member nation is allowed to produce. So it is able to easily manipulate oil prices across the world. Now let's see what these production cuts actually do. Analysts say that since these cuts will be maintained all year, it should be enough to deplete stockpiles substantially while consumption rises in China and the rest of the world. China is the biggest importer of oil, so as it's increasing the volume of oil that it buys from Saudi Arabia, it does two things. It further depletes inventory and it also helps maintain oil prices relatively high. Not as high as they were three years ago, of course, but still relatively stable. The International Energy Administration believes that Chinese demand for oil will continue to increase, by the way. Generally, oil production cuts are not welcomed by countries that struggle with inflation, such as the United States, because it only helps increase prices even higher. Cuts fuel inflation, in other words. Since the United States dramatically shifted to green energy and as the result of that, it decreased investments in fossil fuel production domestically. It has now no other choice but to be fully dependent on the decisions that are made by countries that are generally considered to be outside of the group of direct allies. So the United States economy is greatly, greatly dependent on these oil cuts. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure that you subscribe, give this video a like, and check out my newsletter that is available on Substack. You will find all of those links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.